Hey, in the forecast around the Ozarks, most of the attention on homelessness, understandably, is in big cities. But some rural communities are seeing an increase in the homeless population, and police are telling us some don't want to be helped. And it's led to more residents now having problems with squatters. Color 10 Sydney Moran is live in Aurora tonight with what the police department there is now asking from homeowners. Sydney. Well, Bailey and Steve, the police chief says some homeless folks start committing crimes after they become homeless just so they can stay afloat. But this ends up impacting other people and causing concern amongst families. On the quiet street of McNatt, Neighbor Brenda Allen says the typical concern is traffic. <laughs> you know, it's nice and peaceful. And Police say a home just across the street from Allen's is known for housing homeless people. They would even try to encourage kids on bicycles that they had some drugs if they wanted to buy them. And so we had become a neighborhood watch. So this whole neighborhood here. We actually all called the cops several times. Being homeless by itself is not the problem. It's the things that go along with being homeless and whatever else is going on. The Aurora and Marionville Police Department has increased their drug enforcement efforts over the past year. What we see are the folks that we go in and arrest from one location. By the time these folks are released from jail, a lot of times where they were living is no longer uh, accessible. Coatney says the department offers help to the homeless, whether that's shelter or counseling, but many refuse the help, taking the department back to square one. So we're going to keep offering that help, um, but we're also going to keep offering law enforcement services um, that, that, that do result in arrests if, we, if, if that's the only solution. The department is calling on neighbors to report any suspicious behavior. If we can find a way to resolve the problem, uh, not necessarily arrest ourselves out of a problem because that hasn't worked in hundreds of years. Um, but if we can help resolve the problem, then there's no reason why we wouldn't want to do that. If we can get rid of the homeless stuff and get people to working and then to, you know, teach them how to properly um, <laughs> become good citizens, you know, then I think that takes care of most of our problems. Now, the department also works with the Clark Mental Health Center in order to get some of those homeless folks back on track so they don't end up in jail. Reporting in Aurora, City Moran, Ozarks First.